Hello everyone, it's Max Power. All right, I have um, this one. This is one that I've been wanting to put up for a while. Uh, I had a buddy um, on YouTube, Simon and Horror Hound. They wanted to take a look at that, but this, they're both horror fanatics and uh, Horror Hound, uh, he's uh, really has a fantastic uh, setup with all the masks and everything. I don't collect masks, but I certainly love to see the stuff that he has. Simon has a ridiculous, fantastic collection of horror stuff. So, um, you know, I have a few things here and there. And um, I had to say that I had a mask um, from Michael Myers, uh, which is one of my favorite characters in the horror um, that I had since I was really probably a teenager, or I don't know, it's been long, I mean, probably I mean, not that old, but. I've, I've, I remember the movie freaking me out as a kid, um, but I picked this up and it's been so long and, and honestly I really haven't really taken care of, of this mask. I've, I've had it just in storage and I'll take it out for uh, Halloween, every other Halloween and, and so, you know, I don't really take care of, of didn't take care of the mask. So there's a, a little bit of damage on a mask um, but again I promised Simon and Horror Hound that I'd show this on the video um, they were interested to see what kind of mask it was and who was the company and all that stuff so here it is guys this is for you guys and any uh, horror uh, horror uh, subscriber out there uh, you know, if they want to see what I have so let's get a little closer here to this mask um, it's got real nice detail. I, I, again, I, I bought this so long ago, I don't even really remember the details where and when. Um, the information on here is ins it's inscribed right here, and it says it's 1978. So looking at when the movie was made, uh, Halloween 1978. So uh, it was around the time that the movie was popular. Uh, it was a company called Falcon Studios. Is what I can f um, read. It's called Falcon International Productions, 1978. The mass is uh, says all made in Mexico. So I really don't like when they inscribe stuff on the mask. It just I think it kind of cheapens it a little bit. So again, uh, this wasn't uh, a collectible for me. It was just a mask I had, and and uh, um, Simon and Horrorhound wanted to see what what it was. So. I'm showing you guys but really nice detail for what it is it's it, I don't think it was a cheap mask that's what I do remember so um, I've seen some of the masks that they have out out now that you know unless you spend a little more you end up with a pretty cheap looking Michael Myers mask um, but I guess for its time this wasn't uh, this was pretty good if I remember correctly I'm going to go ahead and take it off the head. I just bought a head for it, so I am displaying it now and taking care of it a little bit more. So, uh, let's see if I can get close to the inscription on here uh, without it. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can really see it, but it says 1978 Falcon... I think it's a yeah, Falcon Falcon I think it's this production it's really difficult to see I'm trying to get as close as I can here I can see the Falcon there it is it's uh Even, I still can't even figure it out. It says production something. Uh, 1978 Falcons. And that's really hard. Maybe some of the fans out there know what about this company. Uh, or you know, what, 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 you know, at least if it's anything really good. Uh, the latex is fairly fairly thick I mean not too 
not too thick, but so I don't know. I've seen some of the masks that Horror Hound has and they're really thick. So I guess that's kind of the indication that it is a good uh, production or a good or, you know, really nice mask. Uh, this isn't really that thick, so probably there's nothing special. Um, there's the inside I put. The head is a little bit um, small, so I put that underneath it. I'll take that off here. And so well, this is what the inside looks like. The molding. It's got some print here, which I don't know what it is. So maybe uh, those fellows can give me more information about this mask, if it's anything special or not. I just kind of wanted to show uh, specifically those two uh, fellow collectible collectors what I had. Let's see. No, I can't prop it up. I'm going to think I'm going to put it back on the stand here. So overall, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it does the job when it comes to when I have my overalls and everything and I'm out there um, trying to scare uh, kids when they come to the house to trick or treat. So obviously, you know, it's uh, Michael Myers. So it's definitely a good mask as far as I'm concerned. I've seen some of the stuff, uh, some of the Michael Myers. There's one that just recently Horror Hound had on his YouTube uh, video and it looked, oh man, that thing was fantastic looking. Can't remember who made it, uh, um, but just really a fantastic looking mask. But again, this is pretty good for what I use it for. All right, guys, just wanted to share. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, uh, Simon and uh, Horror Hound, um, if you guys know anything more about this, if you wanted to comment or let me know what you think, I appreciate it. Alright guys, uh, thank you subscribers and I will talk to you soon with another review.